From 2015 to 2017, I held five art contests on my blog. Each one of these contests had a theme, such as, if one of Yandere Simulator's characters was a Pokémon trainer, what would her team be like? These contests are some of my most cherished memories. Seeing hundreds of talented artists making phenomenal Yandere Simulator artwork was an unforgettable experience. The only downside was that it was incredibly time-consuming to keep track of every artist and categorize all of the artwork coming in. So, from 2018 onwards, I decided not to hold any more contests, because they simply took too much time away from development. This is something I regret a lot, and every year I think about those art contests, and I wish I could bring them back. So... When a company called Medibang contacted me and offered to host a Yandere Simulator art contest, I said, yes please. Medibang's Art Street is a website that is similar to DeviantArt, but with an emphasis on ranking artwork and making it easy to quickly find the best artists and the highest quality illustrations. From today until April 5th, there will be a Yandere Simulator art contest on Medibang. My previous art contests all had a specific theme, such as Draw the Student Council or Draw Yandere-chan Fighting Nemesis-chan. But there is no specific theme for the Medibang art contest. The only requirement is that it has to be Yandere Simulator fan art. You could submit a drawing of Yandere-chan having a Pokémon battle with a rival, or draw Yandere-chan cosplaying as a famous character. The sky's the limit. You can draw whatever you want, as long as it features a character from Yandere Sim. Of course, the reason why people participate in contests is because they want to win cool prizes. So, let me tell you what kind of prizes I'm offering. If you win third place, you'll get some merchandise from the Yandere Sim Crowdmade store. If you win second place, you will also get some merchandise. But in addition, I will put a doll that represents you into the game and your doll will go on a shelf alongside other dolls that represent famous YouTubers who have played the game, and other people who helped Yandere Sim develop into what it is today. But the prize for first place is definitely going to be the most exciting part of the whole contest. If you win first place, then I will offer to put a character of your design into Yandere Simulator. For years now, I've seen people designing their own original characters for Yandere Sim, and imagining what kind of role their character would play in the game. It always makes me happy to see Yandere Sim inspire people to do creative things. And the purpose of the first place prize is to give one lucky person the opportunity to put their OC in the game. Here's how the process is going to work. First, I'll provide you with a base. Then, you'll draw your OC's design over that base. Next, a 3D artist will turn your OC into a model compatible with Yandere Simulator. Then, I'll add a cheat code to the game that will make your character appear at school. This way, other people don't have to see your OC if they don't want to. Adding a new character to the game and designing a routine for them can be a very time-consuming process. So to make sure that this prize doesn't delay the game's development, your character will be replacing a previously existing character. You can choose which character at school is getting replaced with yours. In case you're curious, I'm not actually receiving any money whatsoever from Medibang to collaborate with them on this art contest. I'm doing this purely because I just really miss the old Yandere Sim art contests and I wanted to bring that sort of thing back in a way that wouldn't slow down development. I'm super excited to see what kind of artwork people are going to draw for the contest, and I hope you are too. If you're not really interested in hearing about art contests, and you only want to hear about development progress, I recommend checking out my blog, which I update a lot more frequently than my YouTube channel. For example, I recently added a new way to dispose of corpses but I only mentioned it on my blog and not here on this channel because there simply wasn't enough for me to say about it to fill an entire video. But it's still a pretty big deal nonetheless. 
That's all I have to say for now. Thanks for watching, and thank you for following the development of Yandere Simulator.